he's got uh, the heat rising, he's yeah. coming out of his neck, and she's just there being like budget Rapunzel. Hi guys, I'm Ella Ding. And I'm Domenica Calaco from Married at First Sight, season nine. She serious? I think like for me, no, I- No, 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 no. Like my oh, entire I Today we're going to be recapping the biggest moments from week four of MAFS 2023 with Yahoo Lifestyle. Oh, <laughs> this poor bastard. I know, <laughs> seriously. He was so nervous. Dude, so nervous. Oh yeah, then he so dropped the ring. Oh. <laughs> I love how they like put in the music, the the um the drop of the. Oh yeah, you know, they like ding. It well. He's dropped the rings. It's like the worst start. How are you, Evelyn? Oh, that was a weird kiss. Yeah, it was. It's like a shoulder kiss. She's stunning. Mm. Yeah. Well, she's a model. Yeah. He's like. <laughs> she's got like a big mouth. That's right. Yeah. He like said. <laughs> Your hands or something? I do think it played up a bit. Yeah. This is what we talk. But then that made me bit think, oh, maybe not. Well, I personally think he was like waiting because, you know, the, the celebrant yeah. not the talk. They you, just wait You do there. stand there in silence yeah, for they, ages. You stand there in silence. I think they're playing it up on him, poor thing. I think they're playing on the fact that she's this hot bombshell mm. and he's kind of a bit, maybe like a bit insecure. Or, mm. um, but when he talks... He's very good with what he says. Yeah, I actually don't think he's really that shy. I don't think so either. I think they're just playing up on it because she's hot. Mm. Oh, poor like thing. Like to you. Oh, he's... Um, tradey, footballer, bit, um, bit rowdy, likes to drink beer, and beer only, I guess. And he's having a beer. <laughs> Dull, he's... That's definitely my type of guy. You're probably not my type. Oh. Look how ready he's gone. There's your answer. Are you happy? Oof. No, he's not happy, obviously. Look at him. The part that I have a problem with is I feel like you like looked at me and neck. said, he's, really nervous and now he's not a bloke tradie, he's not my type, and you've been a bitch to me the entire time. Oh. Like, if have I, I been a bitch to you the entire time? I mean, yeah, rightfully so. Yeah. yeah, you have. Hell yeah. Yeah. I definitely feel like no part of you wants to, I guess, work on it. I never said that. You're putting words into my mouth. No, Stop I'm doing asking. That. I inflected at the end of my sentence. No. I'm asking. No part of you wants to work on it. Now, Taylor, actually, that's the vibe you're giving him, doll. Mm. Does she need a mirror? I don't understand no. where you're at because. Oh. Yeah. When she's your own voice too much, and it actually annoys me. And you love touching your hair too much, and that annoys me. That was, was rough, man. Yeah, I just felt for him, because he seems like such a kind, sensitive person, and she was just like, you're not a man, you're not an athlete, like, just be saying all these things, and then to top it off, when she said, shut up, like, you're talking too much, you like the sound of your own voice, it annoys me. I just wouldn't even ever think to say those kind of things. Uh, it baffles me that someone would go into Married at first sight mm. and speak like that. But she has no filter. She yeah. does have no filter. Like, you can tell that's kind of like her personality where she does just say exactly what's being processed. But why would you put yourself out there, dude? Because that's not going to be good for you. Yeah. You know? She, maybe she just doesn't care. Definitely well, you not. Go. Oh, my God, no. He literally has got the heat rising. is yeah. coming out of his neck. And she's just there being like budget Rapunzel. I mean, she made him, she made him sleep on the floor. Oh, no, on the windowsill or something. On the honeymoon. Oh. Like, that was rough. A lot of people are going to hold. Oh. oh, here we go, babe. Sometimes you walk away. And I love Duncan. His shirt was Other so times. nice. It's like silk. It's beyond that, Duncan. It is beyond just them kissing and lying about it. Mm. I think you need a pull. You can't be, you can't be friends with Duncan. You can't, it cannot be friends Boys with club? anybody. Boys club? Yeah. Girls club. Do you mm. see it? See how, I, think you need a I don't even think they're hanging out. Duncan, just cut it out. Oh, mm. you keep repeating yourself that oh, I don't condone his behavior. I'm going to pull him up on it because you're condoning his behavior by even associating with that kind of person. AI I found out has just been on its own. Yes. Just no one telling me. The first thought that came to my mind was Adam sitting at that couch, making Jesse look like a mm. crazy person. Yes, yeah, agree with that. Mm, yeah, yeah, agree with all of this. Jesse and all of us. Yes. Into but I think she. He was crazy. Yes. Also, mm. when they come through the door, I'm not getting up. 
I'm not getting up. I'm Neither not saying am I. no. Why would I'm, why I'm Oh, that gives, this gives me PTSD from mm. our reunion when the girls were all saying that. Mm. I mean, I think a lot of people are feeling this way. Like, I'm confused why she is so against... I mean, yeah, we're all against it, but she's, like, so heavily against mm. it when she was in a situation where she condoned it. Like, she was a... She was the other woman. She was with a married man. She was supporting him and cheating on his wife. So, like... I just don't understand she's going to like extreme lengths to so show how mad she is. Yeah. She should have thought about it in if I've just, this was my um, yeah. profession and I've been the other woman in a relationship mm. and yet I'm going to be so staunch with this. Mm. She would have had to be like, okay, well, I'm going to have to take the heat. I don't think she realized that she would be taking the heat as much as she is right mm. now. Is she mad because she was, she's feeling like upset for Jesse because maybe she felt bad for the wife when she was with this man. Yeah. Like, was she upset for the wife back then? I don't know. I'm like, why? Like, she's really against Claire in this situation. They left it in that she said, I'll oh, get that, chops that chopstick and stab her in the eye. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty hectic. That was. I was like, geez, all right. I'm just like, why are you so mad? I don't know. There's more to the story here. Yeah. Yet again, there's like definitely this, more that's happened. That what are we not seeing? Yeah. What have we not seen? What are we not seeing behind the scenes when they're catching up? They're doing so much when the cameramen aren't oh. around. And then they're really picking and choosing what they're bringing to air. I kissed him goodbye mm. before he left. No. Nah. Mm. Oh, yeah, we haven't spoken about Adam. Him. Oh, he's a piece of s***. <laughs> man. Did you sleep with Janelle the night that you kissed Claire? Bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I ended up with... <laughs> oh, my God. He started, I don't have words because no, I'm... He started liar. so much. <coughs> oh my god, this is intense. He's a dead Okay, right, so you're hearing this from who you've heard it for. Correct. That's yeah. And, and, you, and you believe absolutely everything Adam, that you've heard, Adam, is that correct? Adam, we're just trying to understand we're just because asking. we're just, we're trying to get the facts, right? Oh, here we go. These are good questions. Yeah, Did John. you kiss Claire and then went home and had sex with Janelle? <gasps> and you were That's, bad. No, you yeah. didn't. One, one, it's a yes one, or no. It's a yes or no question. One hundred percent yes. Oh. Yeah, one hundred percent yeah. He's a fruit loop. Oh. Oh, it's not a good look. You know, we're in a bad place, but let's have sex. Oh. Listen, listen. He's when that came out, everything I was like, he's saying we weren't in a good place, but let's. And I'm yeah. And I miss my family and I want to go home. Of Good on you, girl. Mm. Get out of there. That's all I can you say. I want to hear the opposite to what you've said, Janelle. <gasps> He just, he just has like no idea what he's even saying anymore. The poor guy. You're confused. I'm, I'm confused, confused bro. bro. I. Where did they get him? Yeah, yeah. Like blaming it on having a drink and a vape. Like I'm yeah. sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. Like we're all doing that on a weekend, but yeah. we ain't kissing someone else's wife. Yeah. When Janelle was like, "I trust you. We don't have to go through your phone." He was literally so happy. And he was f he was freaking out when the task came. You could just tell his body language and the look on his face. And then he just ripped it up as soon as they were like, "Nope, we won't do it." He was like, <gasps> "Like couldn't rip it fast enough." Like it's also interesting though that the producers didn't push them because you can't yeah. say no to not doing the task. Like, I mean, Mitchell said no to doing tasks. Well, I know, but at the, at that point, they weren't going to push him, right? Yeah, but he was when like, it comes to this task mm. specifically, the producers would have known that this was going on behind mm. the scenes, knew that Adam was doing, you know, some shifty things on the mm. weekend. So that's why they didn't push it, because then that further, like, mm. portrays a storyline that, hey, he's hiding things from Janelle. I think that she did, a, yeah, a really good job. She was really articulate yeah. and to the point and got all the facts out and yeah. was like, this is how you've made me feel, Adam, and you yeah. haven't given me any apology and you yeah. don't look like you're sorry at all. No. Uh, so I think she really did. Yeah, no, she did well. Yeah. Yeah. Not oh, Jesse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was really weird how they left like that together. Well, that's nice for you that you can get to leave whenever you want. I feel so much better. Like, massive, massive relief to finally just have one moment with Jesse where we're both calm and I can just tell him that I'm sorry and give him the letter. I feel mm. so much better. They, well, they don't yeah. just go home then. They it's gotta not do simple. It. No. Even when I walked out after the OnlyFans thing, yeah. I was halfway down the escalator, I had to come back up. Mm. You can't leave. You've you got to do leave. your voxies. No, it's not we're going, see you, good night, we're getting no. in the car, going home. No, no you've got to go back. Then you got to demic, get yeah. a car. Takes ages. Takes ages. That would be I mean, Mitch and I were always like an last. Like everyone was in bed by the time we got yeah, home. Yeah, you were. You'd be we were like, like yeah, we just <laughs> got a car. We're still in a warehouse. Like, I know. 
gold. I think if they stay, they'll probably just be there to the end because this is a very big turning point for them. Like if Jesse stays and they make amends and can be roommates until the end, they probably, won't they even probably live will. I don't reckon they're even going to live in the same apartment. Yeah, I reckon they'll like just have fun together or something. I don't know. I feel like all the couples are just they'll doing They'll go that. like ice skating or some bullshit and they'll be like, yeah, we're getting on. Yeah. Like I just don't think there's many in there that are genuinely... Like piss off, isn't this a marriage? Mm. Like, hello?